it's Jack Fuki. I'm back with another 1500 scale airliner review and today we're going to be looking at the Hogan All Nippon Airways Boeing 737-200. Uh, this is a two plane set produced in 2008 and with a uh, limited production of 2,000 units. So there's only 2,000 of these sets ever made and this was an exclusive for the Japanese market which was um, basically in-flight sales. Um, the registration for the plane on the left is JA8401 and the one for the one on the right is JA8453 and that is um, basically a picture of the final flight plane. It's the last 737-200 that they flew and uh, one more thing, uh, the engines are each have two JT8D-9As. Anyway, I uh, got this got this box of planes, uh, just a box of planes, like a, yeah, like there's like a shitload of them just thrown into a box. I uh, got this one a couple of years ago, I think, maybe a little over a year ago, and um, I don't know, I, I always had trouble trying to review this thing for some reason. I think I've made this video like three or four times, and I can't remember what the problem was. Um, but yeah, there is the box. I cannot read Japanese, but I'm sure it tells you some kind of little history of all the planes that led up to it. And um, there are the planes in there. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've had this thing for a while, and I don't know what it was that kept me from reviewing it or uploading the video, but who gives a crap? Here we are now. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, pop this thing open and we'll take a look inside. And uh, before I take them out of the package, uh, just show you that that is what the tray is. It's obviously a double tray. Um, it does come with the stands. I never did take the stands out. But um, you can see just down there, down in there, you can see it, you see it says uh, ANA. Now there's been a little bit of yeah, not controversy, but you know, there have been people who told me it's not ANA, it's called ANA. Well, I call it ANA because I watched a commercial on it and it, they did say ANA because it stands for All Nippon Airways. It's not like it's somebody's name or anything, but I guess you could call it ANA or ANA, but it's still ANA. But anyway, uh, let's uh, pop the tray open and we'll take a closer look at the planes. All right, and there is JA8401 from All Nippon Airways with the Mohican colors. Um, pretty cool. Uh, zoom in a little bit here. I really love the detail they did on it. Better than most other planes that I've reviewed, or at least 737s. I uh, love how right here, <coughs> excuse me, love how right there it's got that chrome paint. Now the, the tail and the stabilizers are plastic, as are the engines and the landing gears. But um, that level of detail with the paint is really incredible. I mean, I don't even, as a modeler, I don't even have paint that I can brush on or anything like that that'll make things look that chrome. But um, pretty neat. It's got the, zoom in a little bit more. I oh, can't zoom in too much. But anyway, um, it's got the little window frames. See the little escape paths and everything on the on the wing there. Tons of detail. You can freeze frame if you need to really see some of them. Pretty good angle there. Real good mold, too. I, re I really do love the mold on this. See, it's got the little notch in the middle for the stand. Chrome belly. <clears throat> strike sensor. Cargo doors. Got the uh, number one. The zero one down there. Real cool. little windows on the top of the cockpit see the windshield wipers 
And it's a all around pretty cool looking little plane. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the other one. And here we go with the registration number JA8453. This is the All Nippon Airways Boeing 737-281 and the final flight colors. Uh, this was the final Boeing 737-200 that All Nippon Airways flew. You see it's in the more modern colors, obviously. Um, last flight was on August 31st, 1992, which is, of course, what this, what this thing, what this, um, basically this set commemorates. Um, I did have a set of American Airlines Boeing 727 200s that I, or was it, uh, yeah, I think it was the two, yeah, the 200s that I, reviewed a while back, so you'll have to go back through my archive and you'll have to go look that video up. I can't remember what number it was, but um, anyway, um, yeah, this is just another set kind of like that. And as you can see, just like, as with the other plane, the Mohican one, you can see how, uh, how great the detail is. Same plane, just different, different markings. Here on the tail, it's got Boeing 737 and the tail number, registration number. Let me turn this one over, and like the other one, it does have chrome on the bottom. It's got some good detail there on the engines. You see my thumb is all scratched up. I've been been working and stuff and using my hands in storage and everything, so forgive me if my uh my fingers are kind of scraped up looking or have dry skin on them. It's just uh, unfortunately the way it goes. But uh there's that plane and I'll bring the other one in here and uh wrap the video up. And a uh, real quick one before we do wrap up the video, I almost forgot to show you the actual stand. This is the first time I've taken it out of the package. Um, real basic little stand there. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, it comes with two of them. Just two pieces of plastic. Basically, it's, it's like that. Of course, the plane mounts on there. I would advise maybe not mounting this stuff on or mounting the planes on here it makes it very top heavy and it's also a little bit of a pain in the ass to keep to get them to stay on there uh, so I really wouldn't put them on on the stand uh, sort of like the star jet stands I mean they're pretty cool but all it takes is one good bump to a table or what have you and it'll fall off on the other hand I guess some planes really hold on to the stands real well but it still doesn't take away the top heaviness of it, so I'd advise not doing that. But uh, there's the stand, and let's move on to the final thoughts, and we'll be out of here, okay? All right, and there's the two planes nose to nose. Uh, you've got the JA8401 on the left, and you have the JA8453 on the right. Um, love the set. Uh, wouldn't have bought it had I not liked it. I know that it took me a while to hunt them down, and also find them for a good price, because I mean, for a while there they were, yeah, they were crazy 120, 180, and then I saw them for around 100, then I saw them for around 80, and then I, you know, I don't know how much I paid for these, but I didn't, I didn't go over 100 dollars. I know that it might have been about 55 bucks or somewhere in there, and then I had to pay about 15 bucks or more postage, which I don't advise doing, but if it's the only way you can get the plane, and you see that on eBay there's no other ones on there um yeah you have to just make that judgment call um nobody said this was a cheap hobby it's a very expensive hobby it's one reason why i stopped getting a bunch of planes but what have you um but if you do find a set and you can afford it go for it that's all i gotta tell you but anyway uh don't forget to comment rate and subscribe uh make sure you go check out my other videos whether they're about airplanes or not get those views up get the likes up and um, 
pass it on and just let people know that I'm doing these reviews plus other reviews. Seems like the reviews, or not the reviews, but the uh, but comments and likes have been up this past week. So I'm just going to be thankful for that and keep moving on with these. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video and you guys take care. Okay, later.